911, what is your emergency? There's a young man who's in my backyard. He appears to be on drugs. Is he threatening you in any manner, ma'am? He's just staring at the sky and fidgeting like he's sick or something. Okay, ma'am, the police will be sent to your location. Please move to a safe area in your home and wait for the officers. You know, if you would actually talk a tiny bit, these visits would go much more smoothly. Well, how has your job been? It's not too bad, is it? Soul crusher. Well, most new jobs can be somewhat frustrating, but you need to focus on the positive. Yeah, the, the positives. Yeah, I'll do that, I'll, I'll focus. You've only been there for three months, haven't you? My first job, I was ready to leave on the first day. At least you've stuck it out this long. You're saying that like I have a, I have a choice of being there. Like that, that place is just. But having a steady routine, such as a full-time job and your visits here are essential to helping you stay. I haven't had any problems with that in a while. I, I, I think it's been about maybe five months, I want to say. That's good. You should be proud of yourself and your family is proud of you too. You have to understand that those five months are monumental to helping you become the person you need to be. I, I know that, but since I've been, you know, somewhat better, so to speak, I only get maybe one or two hours of good sleep and trying to sleep during the day and then working at night, like it's, it's been pretty rough. Well, I could prescribe you some type of muscle relaxant medication, but with your history, that wouldn't make too much sense. So I recommend we try a different approach. So, so what, what's that? I have a colleague, Dr. Braxton, He's developed a new procedure that will help you with your insufficient sleep and overall mood. It's best to try this first before starting any medication that could cause dependency. I'm not too sure about this. He's exceptional at what he provides. He's a friend of mine and I've referred several patients to him. They've all had great results. I'll see you next week, Mr. Cyrus. Go outside and get some sunlight. The sun gives us all vitamin D, which helps with sleep. How you doing, boy? You high? <laughs> I'm doing all right. Um, um, you, you, you need something? You know, I, 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 I was uh forgetting about how stuff I remember. How I remembered a lot of stuff, but a lot of stuff I don't forget about, and I can't remember no more. <laughs> I, I really don't. I really don't know how I'm supposed to respond to that. Hey, this boss man one time. I'm gonna tell you. He, he told me and try to show me how to do my job. See, I know how to do my job. That's one thing about me. People know that I know about my job, how to do my job. I know I know my job now. You show me my job, I know what my job is. You know, I, I don't I don't mean any harm, 
by this, but uh, whatever drugs you on, you know, you either need to stop taking them or, you know, take a larger dose because I, I have no idea, no clue, like, what you're talking about. Boy, you ain't, you ain't got to talk to me that way, boy. I, I don't mean no harm or nothing. Well, you know, it, it's, it's, it's not your fault. I'm just out here trying to, I was trying to relax, trying to get some sunlight like my, like my doctor told me. Just trying to, I guess, get some vitamin D is what she said. But you know what? I'm a, I am gotta get out of here. I've been here long enough, so. Nathan, why are you late again? Yeah, I, I apologize everyone for for being late. I forgot the meeting was at 11 and not 12 like it is most other nights. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. You said it wouldn't happen again last week, but here we are. And the same thing the week before. You know what? Straighten up, Nathan. If you're late again, you're fired. Done. I don't know what else I can do other than apologize. You're so disrespectful, Nathan. Where is Arthur? He was out calling to see if something had happened to you. And now you show up, and he disappears. You two are something else. I know I'm not the first person to ever be late for a meeting. We actually had a meeting about being on time for this meeting. Don't you find that ironic? Weren't you there? I Me, mean, I, I probably was there, but we have so many meetings about other meetings and upcoming meetings that I, I'm, I'm just confused. Do you want to get fired? Do you not understand that everything we do up here is for our customers? They rely on us 24 hours a day to be there. If something happens to their properties or valuables, we can't go back and change what's happened. I'm giving out valuable information that benefits everyone. This is the last straw. One more mess up and you're done. Now go sit down. Man, you gotta stop being late like that. You been off these last few days. What's wrong? And even last week you was acting weird. It's just, thank you. You ever feel like you should be further along in your life? Like doing something worthwhile? Like really meaningful? I just feel like I'm, feel like I'm letting my family down. Look, man, I'm sorry to hear about that. But now the only thing I can tell you is, try not to dwell on it and keep yourself occupied. I mean, it's okay to acknowledge the past and that it exists, but man, sometimes life will have you in places you don't even expect. But then you end up exactly where you're supposed to be. Hey, and if you don't agree with me on that, hey, at least we're getting a paycheck for this easy job. And a, a seven-year-old could do this. Like, all we do is look at a screen all day, and I don't, I don't like nothing we looking at. And then Nancy tripping every day, these crazy workouts, like, I dread coming up here and all that, like, it's, it's killing my sleep because if, if by chance I actually do sleep, which is, you know, that's rare, when I wake up, I never feel refreshed. I always feel like somebody beat me up or something the night before. Man, I had problems sleeping. Hey, but what I would do, 
I would black out my windows, look, listen to relaxing CDs, exercise, and alcohol. You ever tried that? Man, alcohol a pretty good thing. That's, that's not even an option. Like, I've tried exercising, like you said, changing my diet, even reading before bed, but for some reason, none of that works for me. I think you need to try the alcohol. It's a tried and true method of relaxation. Look, when I sip that alcohol, all my problems disappear. But when I ain't drinking, problems come right back. Yeah, pretty much. I can get away from them long enough, but that's all I can ask for. Just some temporary relief. Hey, is it, is it time to go yet? <laughs> Man, you got seven hours. Time to go. And look, I, I know, I know I told you last week, like, that, that was the last time, but I'm about to go to the bathroom and take a, take a nap right dude, quick. Dude, man, just hurry up and go. All right, man, thanks. Come on, man, I'm in here. Dude, what are you doing? I was, I, I'm doing my taxes. What do you think I was doing? Oh, come on, man. I mean, it's always fun for a job. Man, you might want to put in for a shift change or get another job or something, man, cause that ain't right. Man, you know Nancy won't let me move the first shift and then, I can't quit this job, and then if I get fired, that's that's even worse. Still, my life it's, it's gonna be over. Man, you wanna know what I do to deal with this place? Oh. Come on. I mean, I can't mess with that, man. You know we have drug tests up here like every other week. Nah, it's cool, man. My dude is the best, man. It's pure amphetamines, man. I've been up for three days straight. That's what I do to deal with this place, man. Th three days. That ain't even nothing to brag about. I mean, I'm not trying to have a heart attack up here taking that. Well, hey, that's what a lot of us do up here at Function, so at least think about it. And while you're doing that, I think Nancy's looking for you, man. It's like she got me on surveillance or something. Keep it busy. I mean, I don't think it's a crime to use the bathroom. No, it's not, Nathan. It's, I mean, it seems like it is around here. That's just your opinion. I was just, uh, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm tripping, man, I'm, I'm out, I'm out of here. You, you coming? Nah, nah, I'm gonna I'm stay, work on a few logs from last week. Oh, okay, then, man, I, I see. Alright, cool. I think he's on the right path. I sold him as best I could. Man, let's hope so. Can't force him, right? Nah. We gotta play it out and see. Steer him as best we can.
So I was calling to make an appointment with Dr. Braxton. Hi, Nathan. It's good to meet you. Is this some type of joke or something? Like, what are you doing? Excuse me? I just saw you in the park the other day. You out there asking me all type of crazy questions, messing with me? You don't remember that? I haven't been in any parks. I'm just getting back to the States. I've been on vacation in Trinidad for the last, what, three weeks? I swear I talked to you the other day at a park. Or, or I thought I... Take your time. Sleep deprivation can cause a lot of confusion. I'm, I'm losing it. I'm, I'm sorry, Doc. It's just, you, you look just like that guy. Unless I have a twin brother I don't know about. That wasn't me, I assure you. Now, just take a second to relax and tell me what's been going on. I can't get any good sleep. I wake up at least several times while sleeping during the day to, you know, go to work at night. And I don't, I don't, I don't feel like I'm fully awake. It's like I'm in a fog. Well, let me go ahead now. Check your eyes. Have you had any problems with your eyes or ears? No, not at all. That thing looks looks pretty clear from that standpoint. Is there anything else that's been bothering you? Uh, it'll be random times I'll, I'll doze off or I, I'll be honest, it feels like I pass out like at work or at home to the point where I, I can't recount the missing time. And then there's been instances where I'll end up in places that I don't, I don't remember going to. And so at this point, I'm willing to try anything. Well, uh, I have a lot of your medical history here and uh, some other notes from Dr. Willow. And just from hearing your symptoms, I think we can help you here. Um, tell me, how long have you had these symptoms? About, uh, about four or five months. So what, what do you think is wrong? Y'all gonna give me some type of pill or, or injection? No, uh, no pills of any kind. Um, something non-invasive. Uh, it's, it's pretty new, but all signs seem to point to your circadian rhythm being distorted. What, what's the circadian rhythm? It, it's our physical, uh, mental and behavior changes that follow a 24-hour cycle, responding primarily to light. Oh, okay. Um, that's that's a lot, a lot to take in. Our bodies aren't designed to work late nights when we should be asleep. Uh, your work hours and, and history of drug use seem to be the primary cause of your bad memory and fatigue. 
But don't worry, it is possible to work these hours comfortably and have a relatively healthy life. So how, how, how is that possible? We'll do that by using a relatively new procedure called suprachiasmatic LED therapy. This consists of LED lights that will reset your circadian rhythm by emitting light waves that are absorbed through your skin. So we, we can do this today? Yes. Go ahead and change into these, and, and once you get changed, come outside, and uh, I'll take you down to the treatment room, all right? Hey, what, what, what's going on? That don't sound right. Not the brakes. Not the brakes. Supposed to do this. How do you feel? I feel like easy, easy, easy. I feel like somebody kicked me in the stomach a couple times. And... Wow. What not the doctor's office? Why are we in the cemetery? Look, the way that you feel, under the circumstances, it's normal. Now, as far as the cemetery is concerned, it's probably one of the quiet places I can find for us to talk. I mean, I'm pretty sure nobody out here is going to interrupt us. I brought you out here for a reason, and I honestly don't know the best way to tell you. Hey, man, it's, it's your life, and I don't, I don't judge what people do in their own homes. <laughs> Nathan, it's not even like that. What I really want to tell you is that you travel to the future. What are, what are you talking about? Why, why in the hell would I believe that? Are you on drugs? Dude, I'm, this is what I'm trying to tell you. I work for the United States government. Under a classified division, we conduct accelerated spatial time travel for the sake of national security. United States government? That's correct. Time travel. National security. Yes. You are. Well, it was good talking to you. Wait, Nate, hold on, wait. <coughs> Thank you, Agent Rivera. Nathan, come on, man. Let's go sit down. Take it easy. You were one of the select few clinical participants to successfully travel to the future, or should I say another dimension? I, I, can't, I can't deal with this right now. I'm sorry I had to deceive you. For the past couple of days, we had to greatly increase your stress levels at our workplace facility. Your facility? 
Our organization set up a dummy workplace to carefully observe you on a day-to-day -day basis. Creating a high-stress environment proved beneficial to helping your body create the special endorphins you needed to safely travel. Just because you put on a new suit and look somewhat professional, that doesn't mean I believe anything you say. Read it. This can't be real. You probably went and printed all this on your lunch break. Bath salts? Bath salts were made by the United States government? The world knows them as bath salts, but to us, they're just actualizers. Our disinformation outlets tells the public that these bath salts get you high, cause crazy hallucinations, and can turn you into a flesh-eating zombie. But what they really do is exponentially increase your brain level activity to reveal layers of dimensions. You're telling me the, the times when I was high, the stuff I saw was actually there? Essentially, yes. We created actualizers back in the late 50s, and after continuous testing from back then until now, on the drug community, and in some cases on the public at large, using vaccines, city water supplies, and some GMO crops, we discovered what the subjects saw from using the actualizers were different, depending on the quantity taken, the length of time the individuals were on the actualizers, and simply the individual themselves, from their age, race, and family history. Some see the past, some see the future, and some see other planetary dimensions all together. And what you see, Nathan, is the future. A substance just can't make you travel somewhere. That, that, that doesn't make any sense. With the help of our best scientists, physicists, and engineers, they've helped develop machines that can take the individuals to the places they've seen. They figured out a key engineering detail dealing with tachyon condensation and the Luxon theory. I don't really understand the science behind it, but I do know these machines' key component rely on the travelers having a rare brain abnormality that is normally caused by genetics, and in some rare cases, extreme trauma, like your... My, my accident. Your brain abnormality caused by your accident puts you on our radar. You lost your family that night, but you gained a lot more in actuality. Nathan, you were given a rare gift. Nathan, hey, dude, Nathan, wake up, man, dude, you good? Dude, wake up, man. Dude, you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, man, I'm good. I'm, I just, uh, I just closed my eyes for a second to, um, oh, man. I'm gonna get fired, ain't I? We had that stupid meeting tonight, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Hey, but look, you shouldn't even be concerned with that. I was more concerned about you, man. Hey, you gonna be able to drive or you need to ride with me? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good, man. I'm good, I'm good to drive. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure, man. I'm good. I'm, man, I'm sure. Dude, do not go back to sleep, man. Man, I, I, I promise you I'm not. All right. Now, I'm going to make a call over to the office. When I come back, we'll head on over there. Okay, cool, cool, man. All right, good. Yes. Project Intoxicating Risk Trial Number 52 has been deemed problematic again. After a failed attempt, the subject was placed under sedation and has been reawakened. Please advise the house to proceed. 